Today we will design and assemble a ball bearing in SolidWorks. First of all, we will design this outer racing, this ball, this inner racing and this casing separately and then we will do assemble them and we will join this casing and this backside casing using these rivets over here. So now let's get started and design this assembly. Now we will design our first part which is outer race. So select here front plane, sketch. Now select center rectangle and draw one rectangle like this. Select smart dimension. Select this line and this origin point. Give this distance to be 130 mm inter. Then give this length 62. This distance from origin 106 mm. Right click, select. Now select this center point of rectangle and this origin point and make them vertical. Now select center point arc. Select here and draw an arc like this. Okay, from here to here. Again select this origin point of the arc and this point vertical. Okay, select smart dimension and give this radius to be 24 inter. Select trim entities and with power trim, trim this part. Okay, now again select smart dimension and give this this line to this center point. This distance should be 16 mm. Give you a 16. Okay. Now as we have to revolve this part, we will create one center line. Like this. Okay. Now we will go to features and select here revolved boss face. Axis of revolution will be the center line and select OK. That's it. Our outer race is now ready. Just we have to give here one fillet. So we'll select here fillet and select this face so that these both edges will be selected. Give here 6 mm inter and then OK. Save this part. Create one new folder of ball bearing and inside it give this part name as outer race select save. Now we will design inner race. So select here front plane sketch. Again select here one center rectangle and draw one rectangle like this, right click, select, smart dimension, this line to this origin point distance, 72 mm, this line, the point, this distance is 50 mm, ok, This length is same as it is 62 mm inter. Let me keep it downward side. Okay, right click, select. Now select the center point of the rectangle and this point vertical. Select here center point arc. From this point, draw one arc from here to here. Okay, select here smart dimension, give this point to this line distance, 16 mm, 
this arc radius is 24 mm okay now select the center point and this point vertical trim entities with power trim trim this part okay select here center line and draw one center line like this right click select go to features revolved box based give your axis of revolution this axis okay now select fillet and select its this inside face 6 mm okay select okay control plus s and we will save this as inner race click save now we will design a ball so select again front plane sketch circle right click select smart dimension give this circle a diameter of 48 mm enter now select a line from this end point to this end point select trim entities with power trim trim this circle ok now go to features and select revolved boss space axis of revolution will be this line ok now again save this part control plus cs wall save now we will design its casing so select here again front plane catch draw two circles one and this second smart dimension 188 and this circle 172 ok now features and extruded postface select here mid plane and 32 mm distance select ok now select this face and select sketch select convert entity now select a circle and draw a circle like this to here smart dimension and give this circle a diameter of 180 mm enter right click select now we will select here one circle and select this end point as a origin and draw one circle like this smart dimension and give this circle a diameter of 48 mm enter right click and then select select here one line from this end point to this end point trim entities with power trim trim this circular portion and same this ok then select ok and select this line make it for construction geometry now we will go to features and select here revolved cut axis of revolution will be this line and select here blind 360 degree ok now select fillet and select this edge and this edge give your distance to be 4.2 and then ok
now click on this i button and you will see here view temporary access click on it and you will see its access okay now select here circular pattern now click here and select this axis give here eight number of entities 360 degree and equal spacing okay let me hide all this axis select here shell select this face this backside face and this downward face after selecting all this, give your distance to be 3mm, enter and then select OK. I think the 3mm distance is more. Let's make it by selecting edit, make it 2mm and then select OK. Ok, now this thickness is perfect. Now click Ctrl plus 1 for the front view and select this face sketch ok now select here one center line draw one center line like this vertical select again center line and draw one like this right click select smart dimension and give this angle between these two center lines to be 22.5 degree ok now select this cut texture from this select the sketch and make it show select this circle and make it convert entities ok now sketch and make it hide let's select here one circle and from this point Draw one circle like this, right click, select, see the center point of this circle is coincident to this circle, ok. Now select smart dimension, give this circle a diameter of 4mm, ok, right click and then select. Now select this circle and make it for construction, ok. Press F button to the fit screen mode. Now go to features and select here extruded cut. This circle is selected. Now just select here through all both sides and then OK. Now show access. Circular pattern. Select this cut extrude axis axis will be this axis eight number of entities 360 degree and equal spacing and click ok so you can see let's hide this axis and uh, our casing is ready now let's save it by clicking Ctrl plus yes pacing and then select save now select browse documents in this select all of this from the ball bearing folder that we have created and select open ok click one by one here one will be here and like this okay as you can see our ball is fixed it's not moving so right click and select here float and you can see now it's floating now select this outer racing and make it fix okay Select here show access, click on this and change its background to plain white. 
now first of all we'll select this ball click on met and click this face so that you can see click here concentric ok and then select here ok let me move this over here and you can see it's met now select a circular component pattern we have to select the center axis as an axis and component to be pattern will be our ball make here 360 degree equal spacing should be on and give here 8 number of entities ok now we have to select axis of this so select this axis click on met and then select this axis of the outer rays make them coincident ok now select this face of the wall and select this inside face tangent flip metal alignment and ok now you can see it's rotating inside it now just select this axis of the inner racing and axis of outer racing make them coincident ok now we will select here advanced mat width select this face and backward face of this racing again select front face of the inner race and then back side face ok now select here ok close it and you can see it's also rotating now hide this axis now we have to mirror this casing in the backward side also this side ok so what we will do is we will just select this face ok carefully you have to select this face and from this select here mirror components this casing is already selected we have to select here mirror plane the mirror plane will be this face ok click on here next see its mirror and then ok now we have to assign a rivet to this hole so we will select this edge go to design library toolbox from that DIN pins and select here rivet select this rivet and up to this edge click ok ok now it's done give here size to be 4 length to be 8 then select ok and close it ok perfect so now we have to circular pattern this rivet so that let's show this axis circular pattern select this as an axis component to be pattern will be this rivet and give your numbers to be 8 and equal spacing 360 degree ok let's hide this axis now let's assign some material to this assembly so we'll select here appearance go to appearances select metal steel and select here polished steel ok 
so that's all in this video i hope you like this tutorial please make sure to like share and subscribe our channel thanks for watching